Oh my God, what a roller coaster. I just got some good news. I just got some good news. Oh my God. I just had a call back from the vet and she sent the um, x-ray out to a specialist. She wanted to make sure. And the specialist said, it's not a herniated diaphragm that it's pneumonia. Now pneumonia is not good, but it's way better than the other uh, thing was. So I've got the antibiotics and he'll be on it twice a day. I'm still going to work to get him, you know, eating and stuff. Um, and I bring him back next Sunday for another checkup. So we, we do have a chance to pull him through. So, oh my God. <sighs> What a roller coaster this has been, I'm telling you. But thank goodness we have a chance to pull him through. Again, pneumonia is not good. It's not a great diagnosis, but there is a chance with that that he can pull through. So he had his first antibiotic thing this morning. I gave it to him as soon as we got back home. He's sleeping now, and... Uh, I want to let him sleep as much as possible, and as soon as he gets up, I'm going to, again, give him the nutritional gel and get him to have a little food and a little bit of the, uh, the mother's milk replacement so he gets enough, um, uh, uh, so he gets to have, um, oh, hydration. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you for everyone for your prayers and everything. And, you know, I'll keep you updated, but I'm so happy we've got a chance to pull him through. And I will let the breeder know uh, what's going on. They said they would call me in an hour. So as soon as he calls, I will let him know that we've got some good news well, again, it's better, I, I should rephrase that. It's better news than what she thought the first diagnosis was. To find out that it's pneumonia, we have a chance to pull him through. Whereas the other one was just, it's fatal with a little guy this size. At least this is an opportunity to pull him through. So we're gonna continue to work on it as best as I can. <laughs> He's in the middle of dream state. His little eyes are pulled back <laughs> in his head and is flickering. So he's he's having the dream right at the moment. So I just let him sleep as much as possible and give that antibiotic a time to, to work. But yeah, he is trying his hardest, I know he is, to try to pull through. And um, so we'll see. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here, and I'll see you online. Oh, my God, what a roller coaster. Buckle up. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm going to let you know. I did pull a wisdom from the universe thing, and um, do I have it here? What I had in the center, and I wasn't making sense of it, was secrets. At, uh, the challenge is patience, and it was desires, okay? And I was trying to make sense of it. Now it makes sense because, let me see if I have my other cards here that were with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Oh, what was the other one? trying to think it's not here mm, trying to think what the other card was okay let me see if we have the other ones here yeah assertion lust and um at the center was uh 
shoot, can't think of what the center one was. Oh, concentration. That's what it was. So it makes more sense now. We had at the center secrets and we had concentration, okay? We have the, the web down there and being caught in the web and something, something has not been heard. We have the secret, okay? Then we had going into it, the desire and um, what was with that was feeling pushed to the edge is the card I had above it. Feeling pushed to the edge and lusting, you know, wanting this desire, you know, and it was feeling pushed to the edge and really wanting this little guy to be okay, okay? And um, so at the heart of it was some secrets and, um, and we had patience because things were hung up we had the hangman, need to have patience, and, uh, you know, and this assertion that everything was going to be okay uh, as well. So it's saying that the secret was he didn't have the, the diaphragmic hemorrhoid. He has pneumonia, so was waiting to hear back. And she called back and said she sent it to a specialist. And thank God it's pneumonia, not a herniated thing. So the desire, you know, you want him to be okay and, and you're feeling pushed to the edge. And that secret is there. And I'm trying to think of what the card was above it, but I can't remember. And it's saying patience here. Things are hung up and you got to have patience because you know, because of this situation. Hi, little man. Did you wake up? Did you wake up, little man? Hmm. It's a good little boy. He's a good little boy. He said, but I still a very sick little boy. I got pneumonias and that's not good. I'm still very sick. Yeah. It's just not feeling good, are you, booby? So, um, that's what I got. And uh, so now it makes sense because at first it wasn't making sense. I was like, what is this about? You know, what's going on with this? And I was trying to figure out the reading, what it was, but it was saying, hang on, hang on. Um, you know, there was something that was not known, okay? There was something that was not known, and it was that it's a different diagnosis. Thank God. So that's what's going on. And thank God that it's, you know, it's saying, have patience, hang, hang in. Don't give up, hang in, hang in. So we've got our little guy here. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let him try to rest as much as I can. And then this afternoon later, I give him his antibiotic again. And the uh, uh, doctor wants me to come back next Sunday for a, another checkup. So I will do that. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> So we can breathe a bit of sigh of relief. He's not out of the woods yet. Don't get me wrong. With pneumonia, that's still serious with these little guys. But we do have a possibility. There is a possibility for him to pull out of it. And that's way more, uh, way better than, than what I had before with the other diagnosis. Because the other diagnosis with him was, it, it's, you know, there's no way it's fatal. So I'm going to keep trying to get him to eat and uh, gain his strength. And, uh, yeah. 
Keep hanging in, people. Keep hanging in. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get this little guy through it. So thanks for tuning in, and thank you for all of your well wishes and everything. And, um, oh, my goodness. This has just been insane. That's all I can say. It's been insane.